you bought the boat in Annapolis and you brought it to North Carolina and then you went back to Australia for a while. How long were you in Australia? Uh, a month and a half. A month and a half. Yeah. And during that time you had some people working on things on the boat? Yes, I did. I was trying to run a project from a distance. Yeah. Remote control. And that's that was my thing, as you and I have discussed, it's far better to have a project manager on the spot. Yeah. Uh, preferably someone who's not actually doing the work, mm -hmm. who can stand back from it and, mm -hmm. and judge whether the work's been done to his satisfaction or not. Um, and um, and I'm best not to criticise the work that was done. Mm -hmm. um, I think that what in fact happened was I nominated specifically what work needed to be done and that work was done. I didn't have anyone who's really going over the boat from stem to stern mm -hmm. and picking the work, other work that I hadn't picked yep. um, and doing that. So you never really actually had a shakedown sail prior to our 650 mile offshore sail to Florida? Came down from Annapolis, but that was all in the ICW, so yep. there was no sailing in any of that. Yep. A little bit on Albemarle Sound, just a little bit sailing there, but really no sailing to speak of. But nothing so. in any sort of heavier wind, oh, heavier waves. And again, without criticizing people who've done the work, mm -hmm. um, I guess the buck stops with the with the skipper, with the captain when it comes to safety. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the one individual that's responsible for the safety of his ship and his crew. Mm -hmm. And you just don't take the word of others mm -hmm. that have done the work, mm -hmm. you check. Especially when they come down to safety items.